So next up, this is a really interesting thing to me because a while ago I read an economic paper about the importance of having a last name that is early in the alphabet. This seems absurd, but nonetheless, it showed that you know, controlling for a bunch of other factors, people with surnames who came earlier in the alphabet on average did better in the economics job market in terms of prestige, long-term success, et cetera. Now, this is particularly surprising, or in my mind, interesting, because as you all know, the convention in economics is to list authors alphabetically. So the first author isn't necessarily the most important, but we still, I guess, the paper is making the point that irrationally we perceive that to be true, even if we logically know that it's not actually true. As such, I have started compiling a list of economists that I will never co-author with. Luckily, <laughs> my last name is Beggs, starts with a B, so I don't have to exclude that many people. But, you know, Daron Asimoglu, you're out. <laughs> Philippe Aguillon, nope, nope, nope. George Akerlof, not gonna happen. Dan Ariely, you're super awesome, I love your work, never. Keep going, keep going along the list. And you know what? Jeremy Bentham just makes that cutoff. <laughs> Unfortunately, he died in 1832, so we just replaced one problem with another one. Another fun fact, or luckily, I will say, luckily of the economists, and I pulled this list from Wikipedia of like prominent economists. Luckily, there was only one, one woman I had to exclude on the list, Susan Athey. In related news, I think I have to rethink my definition of luckily. Now, there are a number of ways to overcome this problem. I suppose one of them is to go the egalitarian route and only co-author with people that have the same last name as you. <laughs> so on that note, I would like to bring a few good men up to the stage. Thank you all for having us. Uh, we're presenting our very important research, A Few Good Men, Surname Sharing, sharing Economist Co-Authors. Uh, this is joint work. I'm Josh Goodman. This is joint work with Lucas Goodman, Serena Goodman, and Alan Goodman. In case it wasn't clear. Uh, <laughs> So what do we do in this paper? Well, the abstract says it all. We explore the phenomenon of co-authorship by economists who share a surname. Prior research has included only, at most, three economist co-authors who share a surname. Ours is the first paper to have four economist co-authors who share a surname, <laughs> as well as the first where such co-authors are unrelated by marriage, blood, or current campus. Uh, I just want to uh, give you some acknowledgments. I want to thank for valuable research assistant Napat uh, Jatu Stripitak and Carlos Paez, even though their surnames are extremely different from ours. Uh, Susanna Tobin, no relation to James, is a dear friend of mine who thought up the title of this paper, which is wonderful. Um, I particularly want to thank Economic Inquiry, which has published this paper. Uh, it was uh, edited by Yoram Bauman, who uh, remarkably solicited four referee reports for a three-page paper, <laughs> including the shortest best referee report we've ever read. the paper would be improved by adding a fifth Goodman. Uh, you might be surprised to know we received no financial support for this research from any source, and in case it's unclear, any errors in the paper are Goodman's. Uh, now, to discuss the phenomenon seriously, uh, it, it turns out that 25% uh, uh, of papers in the early 1970s uh, were co-authored. In fact, 75% were solo authored back then, but now 75% are co-authored, so the ratio is actually flipped around. Co-author choice is important, as Jody pointed out, because of this phenomenon of alphabetic, uh, alphabetical discrimination. It turns out in our research we discovered um, one set of uh, three academics on the uh, 
boundary between law and economics, who have solved the problem simply by combining their last names into McNolgast. You can look them up. Uh, you can't tell which of the three of them is the first author because they just all uh, smush themselves into a single surname. Uh, it turns out that uh, Richard Freeman and a, a co-author uh, have some nice research showing that academics choose co-authors with similar ethnic backgrounds uh, as themselves, and it turns out that uh, homogeneity in co-author sort of ethnic backgrounds tend to lower paper quality. Um, we'll leave it to you to determine whether you think uh, <coughs> the current work suffers from that problem. <laughs> Uh, I will say little attention has been paid to this uh, uh, phenomenon of surname sharing, uh, even though surname sharing itself is actually fairly common. Uh, Stefano Della Vigna shared very graciously data uh, from a paper he and David Card wrote uh, on the 9,000 or so economists that have a top five publication in the last 40 years or so. It turns out 45% of economists in that data set um, actually share a surname with at least one other economist in that data set, and 5% share a surname with at least 10 other economists. The top five names, perhaps unsurprisingly, are Smith, Lee, Brown, Chen, and Miller, all of which are represented in, in large numbers here. And so it seems like such collaborations should be feasible in, in in practice. I now turn it over to Goodman number two. Want to button going in? The button up there. Wonderful. There you go. Yeah, so the problem here is that you can't just use Google Scholar to type. I'm, I'm Lucas Goodman. I'm a grad student at University of Maryland. Uh, thankfully not on the job market yet. Nowhere close to that. Uh, or else I would not be here right now. This is Lucas's first presentation at the AEA, so you know. It's true. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the challenge is you can't use, you can't, to the best of our knowledge, you can't use Google Scholar or anything similar because Smith and Smith, typing Smith and Smith gets you Smith. Uh, perhaps there's a smarter way to do it, but in our extensive effort to, in writing this paper, we haven't found one. Uh, thankfully, the Card and Delavigna data do let us do this, uh, and we found 33 papers with, uh, that, that fit our criteria uh, with 28 sets, unique sets of surname sharing co-authors. Um, but we're strictly focusing on uh, papers that are um, exclusively written by the same surnamed authors, so no Reinhardt, Reinhardt, and Rogoff, and we do not use the uh, research of Roger Gordon and Gordon Dahl. I think I have that from memory. I think if I'm wrong, That's right. That's right. forgive me. Um, we also just asked around. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so most of them, or many of them, are uh, married economists, uh, Romer and Romer, Reinhardt and Reinhardt, et cetera. Uh, obviously, this, in order for this to happen, you have to have spouses with the same name. So if you're interested in future trends in co-authorship by surname sharers, it'll be closely related, we think, to trends in typically wives taking the husband's name. Um, we also have sibling economists. Uh, as far as we can tell, we have not found any sister-sister um, co-authorships. That's an area of, of, of future research. Um, all, all of these on our list, with the exception of Sexton and Sexton, are brother, brother pairs. Sexton and Sexton do have the uh, unique, as far as we can tell, uh, quality that they are twins. Um, but yeah, I'll turn it over to Goodman number three. That's the bottom one. So I'm Serena Goodman, I'm Goodman number three, and I am a Federal Reserve Board economist, so I have to give the disclaimer that Janet Yellen did not write this paper or these jokes. <laughs> Though, I don't know about her involvement in the dual mandate song. That was pretty new to me. Um, so I'm going to talk about uh, parent-child economists, and I'm going to skip over all the things that Josh wrote out here for us to say and apologize to the Gitters that we just learned about in one of the last presentations. <laughs> and then push on to um, another area of prior led of surname sharing co-authors, which is unrelated economists on the same campus. This is very rare. Um, we have the Rosens and Rosens, and the Chens and Chens, and then we have the Levi's and Levi's at Hebrew U, which we incorrectly identified in the paper version of this as being father and son, and that was kind of an awkward email, and we're not even sure it was a joke that we got. <laughs> um, so our contribution is that we are the first paper by four economists sharing surnames. Um, all prior examples have two co-authors, except for the Tremblays with three. And the only worrisome paper is this Scarbeck paper, but for a number of reasons, we're not very concerned. Um, one couple of them are attorneys, and we don't really count attorneys very heavily in this field. And in addition, four-way surname sharing due to two marriages and name changes during the research process. So it was all kinds of confusing. They clarified it over an email, but we don't really remember why. Um, 
And then finally, there's this paper by five Steinbrickners, but they haven't yet posted it yet, so we are still good. <laughs> Passing along to Wayne. Uh, I'm Alan Goodman, uh, the only one around here who remembers the 1970s. Um, <laughs> I, I was brought in as the fourth Goodman. Uh, uh, one, of, one of my editors sometimes say, would you please write this? We need somebody to bring perspective. I said, Henry, because I'm old? He says, no, because you bring perspective. <laughs> um, uh, the four co-authors of this paper are unrelated by marriage, blood, or current campus. Uh, the paper arose because Serena and Josh overlapped in grad school, often mistaken for siblings or spouses. Uh, a mutual friend connected Serena and Josh to Lucas, who's by far the, well, the best looking guy uh, among, <laughs> among, among us. Uh, I, was, I was found in the phone book. Um, but I've shaken them down for my marginal product because otherwise they'd only have three. Um, some of you know that I got my start in housing economics and looking at spatial analysis. And I was going to try to figure out the possibility that you could get random Goodmans by the distribution of Goodmans, but you gotta figure that they'd be mostly in California uh, and in New York and in the three counties, uh, the Gore counties of, uh, of uh, Miami, Dade, Broward, and Palm <laughs> Beach, where there is a surfeit of good men. Okay, so we see that we have Josh in the blue, we have uh, Lucas in the purple, we have Serena in the orange, and me in the yellow, and we're way on the east part of the country. So, what is our contribution? None of us is married to any of the other of us. Uh, matter of fact, Josh and I and Lucas have spouses who have kept their names. Uh, my spouse is Janet Hankin, who's a sociologist. We do co-author, but we had to exclude her. Um, we may share a Goodman ancestor uh, back in the caves of Russia or <laughs> Lithuania, uh, uh, but we lack sufficient interest in this to spend money on DNA <laughs> testing. Uh, I once co-authored a paper with John L. Goodman, Jr., who was at the Fed, but of course we had to exclude him because Jack is a junior. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. Just to wrap up, we wanted to point out that our main contribution here is proving that this collaboration was in fact feasible. Uh, a bonus, what you may have realized, and, and Jody sort of got at this, is that we have eliminated the et al penalty that many of us suffer from in other work. Uh, as the many citations we expect this paper to get, we'll refer to it as Goodman et al. 2015, providing equal credit to all four of us. Uh, we believe future breakthroughs in this area should be possible. Uh, John Leslie, Nick, and Sarah Turner uh, we would encourage to write a paper perhaps in the area of the economics of education. Janet, Jeff, Jeremy, and Jonathan Smith, uh, all certified economists, should be able to study both surname sharing but also first initial sharing. Uh, I would be particularly excited for uh, Erzo F.P. Lutmer, who is at Dartmouth, and Erzo G.J. Lutmer, who is at the University of Minnesota, to co-author for reasons that are too obvious to state. And finally, we've already been contacted by some good men, uh, good men who were upset that they were not included in this because we had not found them through our various uh, search methods, and so we're going to do a follow-up at some point called a Goodman is hard to find. So, thank you. Why, thank you, gentlemen and lady. That was a lovely talk. As you're discussant, I just have a few questions. A few questions. Right here. Okay. First question. So, 
I noticed that you mentioned areas for future research. Now, I would like to point out that one possible area of research would not only be in surname sharing, but in surname concatenation. For example, if you see Bloom Roth, and in fact, Roth Bloom, 1997, this is something that clearly should be included. I do appreciate you acknowledging the important contributions of Gitter and Gitter, as noticed earlier. But I do have one quibble in that I specifically requested a joke about me not being able to handle the truth, and it did not happen. We thought you couldn't handle it. Just saying. Just saying. But I suppose, I suppose you can be excused.